Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome to um, another Pokemon fan game. This is Pokemon Uranium by Jafe Uranium and um, Voluntary Twitch. This is actually a fairly recent one too. A full version of it apparently just came out. Like this isn't this isn't a demo. This is the entire game. Oh, it's just JV. Okay. <laughs> Now, one thing I found very interesting about this one is that, um... Oh, it's involuntarily Twitch. Well, pardon me. <laughs> I was just going off of their, uh, their Twitter hashtag, or their Twitter handles. Eh, whatever. <laughs> one thing that really interested me in this game is that it apparently has a lot of fan-made Pokemon, and I am a huge fan of fan-made Pokemon in games like this, um, because one of my favorite things about playing new Pokemon games is trying to learn the new setups, and, like, trying to, trying to, like, see, like, what kind of new, um... Pokemon I can use, or is trying to see like what kind of strategies I can think of. And that's a really cool mechanic to me. Hmm. You know, this actually looks a little bit like my hero from uh, from Insurgents a little bit. I really hope that's the male character. Oh geez, what is that? Is that a Velociraptor? <laughs> I really don't know anything about this game. I've seen like two uh, new um. Two of the new Pokemon, that's pretty much it. I'm assuming that's the grass starter. The fire I like that fire starter a lot. That they um the blue one is pretty good too. That must be a legendary. Oh jeez. <laughs> Well, this is the intro, I guess. <laughs> yes. All right, Pokemon Uranium. That thing looks really cool. Yeah, so it's space this time, apparently. All right. Um, save slots. Ooh, interesting. Right, let's go into the options real quick. Let's see. Controls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Action. I want to be Z. Um, cancel is X. Run. Is a run button? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's one quite yet, though. Fill all fields. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I need to send a run button. Uh, shift. There we go. Okay. I always gotta do that. Choose your game mode. Oh, this game is a built-in Nuzlocke too. That's pretty cool. Are you sure you want to play on this mode? Yes. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Bamboo. That is a really chill professor. Like, <laughs> but if you find that too hard to pronounce, you can just call me the pro Pokemon professor. You're the kid who's applying for the job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you're going to be doing? Um, I'm going to assume it plays like any other Pokemon game. Oh, that's cool. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than uh, mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used to, uh, to battle by trainers such as yourself. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon is an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are they are there new types we haven't yet discovered yet? Ah, uh, but I tell you more the uh, the first day of the job. Report to my lab. Wait, we're working for him. Report to my lab for tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Who are you? Um. All right. Yeah, that actually looks a little bit like me. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. And game dog. Huh? Oh. Oh no! Oh no! It's uh, it only accepts uh, seven characters. I guess I'll just shorten it the way I usually do. I hate when I have to do that. Game dog, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. Um, you together with your Pokemon are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Beal Beach, the largest city in Tandor. I think that's the region of this uh, world. What, do I have a scouter on my head? What is that? Their father, Kalen, was a brave and talented Pokemon ranger. Oh, it's a ranger thing. I haven't played rangers. 
I know it's kind of a weird game, though. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an, an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with a young game dog. The Tandor regions was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of a clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought um they brought in a specialist to take a look at the ele uh, the electrical system. Oh, I love this song. Cameron, have you finished your uh, diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well. Excellent. As everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Um, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to um, to reset the thermometer, or the reactor is leaking in massive amounts of heat. It can't be the thermometer, I just checked that. So... There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, it's just a few minutes, uh, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Seal, you have to leave too. What? No! With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscratched, except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempts to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. Um, his uh, personality had changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the T um, Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Ging Dog was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Uh, it's not often that it's the father that's that's the alive parent in this series. Auntie's health waned. Oh, of course it did. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest uh, Bamboo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two ki uh, kids from Moki Town applied, Game Dog and the childhood friend Theo, who is probably the rival. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as Pokemon trainers. So Game Dog's journey began. Alright. It's more of a sub than we usually get. <laughs> Come downstairs, you are late. Oh, of course I am. Alright, let's look around. Let's see. Me and my- uh, No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait. Ever since Insurgents, I am now wary whenever I see a book title in a Pokemon game. Like... Hmm. I'd- Oh! Oh, there better not be, um, limited item storage in this game. I guess I'll take that. That's always a staple, right? Is that a Wii? Yep. Oh, no, it's a Wii U. But I hear they're coming out of a new system soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, time to go. You guys know how I like how I think about Mega Evolutions. I'm not a fan. I can't run quite yet. Okay. <laughs> Game Dog, sweet. Today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but f uh, feel glum seeing my little one um, when all go run up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so, uh, so I could support you, you, us both. But we both know that you're ready for this, you and that boy Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder but worry, uh, I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless uh, he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Oh, well, there we go. To run, hold Z. Actually, it's shift. Oh, don't mind me. It's just an emotion. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you too, and I'm positive. Um, I'm positive you'll run into him during uh, during your adventure. Now I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor of man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. All right. You know, I sort of wonder why these sorts of games make the running shoes its own separate item, because you usually get them within the first half hour anyway. Like just saying shift is a run button and leave it at that. Like, <laughs> and a small pet peeve. I got a new town. What is that? I can't see what those are. I, I, I can see them, but I can't talk to them quite yet. Oh, hello. 
Where do you think you're going? Are you trying to tar um to target the lab before me? Oh no, trying to get to the lab before me so you can get your better Pokemon. Well, I ain't gonna happen because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up. Like, what if the cutscene let me moved? That's just an RPG maker thing, though. All right. Oh, dude, these things are so colorful. Whatever they are, they look really cool. <laughs> Hey, if it isn't Game Dog and uh, your friend Tommy, was it? Honestly, pops, can't, I can't um, can't even remember my name. It's Theo. Theo. Right, right. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day um, at work at as a field research assistant at Bamboo Pokemon Research Lab. Your job will have a uh, will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you in your journey. Before you get your starters, though, um, you uh, both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought we were going to give us our rare, powerful Pokemon. No, no, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon Trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. Star Pokemon will uh, be your lifelong partner, so it's... No, it won't. So important you... If you guys know me, you guys know I always ditch my starter, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, I got it. Enough talk. I want I want to get my Pokemon. Jeez, kid, you're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you um, want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, are you ready to take the trainer? Let's just jump in. <laughs> so without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Hmm. I wonder if these are color-coded. Let's see. Honestly, a mix between these two... I guess I'd try to catch it in most scenarios. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach to your Pokemon? Hyper Beam. <laughs> Ugh, I'm a Gen 1-er. Ugh, what's a TM anyway? Really? I'll tell you later. So let's move on with the next question, shall we? Uh, which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? Huh. That's actually a tough one. You know, honestly, I'd say Gliscor. Like, yeah, he has Thunder Fang, he's Park Round. I think he has the best typing here. Ampharos might have Hidden Power Ice, but... Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Uh, now for the final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Exploring the region, making new friends. Exploring the region. No question about it, I'm going to be a Pokemon master. Nobody's going to stand in my way. I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. That was quick. Um, Game Dog. You seem to be a trainer who likes to play it safe. Patience and endurance are your biggest assets. You want the best thing in life comes to those who wait. For a defensive trainer like you... Or Orchnix. Okay, I guess I'll go with a grass starter. I don't... What is that thing, though? It looks like it has a boxing glove on its tail. Like, go ahead and take it. Oh, so I don't get to choose. It's like, um, <laughs> it's like in a mystery dungeon. That's actually kind of interesting. I guess I'll give it a name. I have no clue what this thing even is, though. It looks like, you know what? I'll just name it after my cat. Oh, I'm lucky. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Um, Game Dog got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing the results. Hmm. He got the fire one, didn't he? I legitimately want to use that Velociraptor looking thing. You certainly know what you um what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires, but I sense something else in you. Could it be a, a seed of greatness, the potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you. Oh, he got the one that I'm strong against. He has like a lightning bolt on his body though. I wonder if he's like part electric. That's kinda interesting. My first Pokemon. What is that thing? Like, what's its name? You have your Pokemon, now I have Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. Oh, okay, let's see what battles look like in this game. Oh, wow, there's like actual Mode 7 of this. That actually looks pretty cool. Now, do the sprites move? That's the real question. Uh, no, they don't. Oh, I like that. It kind of reminds me of uh, Mario and Luigi. 
Whoa! Oh, that's different. That is very different. Let's see. I don't really have much in here. Pokemon, run. I'm not gonna run. Alright, let's do this. Oh, that big thing is its health bar? I thought that was, um... That was just the background. He has static. Interesting. Okay, so they don't have the normal abilities they start with. I wonder if I could see my Pokemon stat group. I might actually lose this. Nah, yeah, whatever. His first battle is usually luck-based anyway. He's grass and steel. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's not really too great of a typing, but it can be... No, no, that's a fantastic typing. I just gotta watch out for fire types. Quirky. Um, Quirky is fine. I don't know what this thing sells in anyway. Seems to be a special attacker, though that might just be luck so far. And he has battle armor. Okay, so it's impossible for him to crit, to crit me. That's actually really good. That's not doing anything. Yeah, I think he might win this one. Unless I get a critical hit. Surprised that paralysis has not like gotten the best of me yet. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> I did pretty much everything I could do there. Yeah, my first win. My Pokemon and me are gonna win, uh, are gonna be the best, the coolest team in Tandor. Game Dog, you're nothing compared to me. Nothing. Haha. <laughs> I gotta sh go show Dad. Game Dog, I'm surprised you managed to lose that fight. <laughs> you, you really? <laughs> it's the first fight is usually just luck based. You best have noticed that your starter has a type advantage over Theo's. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats what? You say that like I had a grass move. That's elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Normally, in a, in a matchup like that, it's a, a foregone conclusion. Or maybe you just let him win on purpose. If he did, that's kind of you. He, ta um, he talks a, a big game, but I get the feeling he wouldn't take it so well if he lost his first ever battle. You seem to be holding up alright, though. Here, let me uh, heal your Pokemon quickly. I'm going out to uh, the entrance of Route 1 by the, end of the t by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both on how to catch Pokemon. See you later. Hmm. Before we do that, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go talk to our aunt real quick. So let's, let's, let's look around town. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region, but there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Oh boy, what weird Pokemon I'm gonna use in this playthrough. So you're going to be the big, um, breadwinner now? Okay, I should, uh, pop by and visit your, uh, your auntie now and again. I have never heard that word, breadwinner. You're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. There we go. That's why I talked to to, to NPC. I must call them villagers. I guess they are villagers, but um. So you're finally um heading out to an adventure. You take after your old man that way. What is this? Shin. Okay. Its color looks a little bit Egyptian, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like like Anka from a uh, from Animal Crossing, actually. My husband's long uh, been an admirer of your father, you know. This is a big fur. This is a big starting town. I'm so jealous you get to have your own Pokemon. My mom says I gotta wait till I'm older. Children grow up so fast. Not long ago, it seemed like I was um, I was one myself. Be sure to have fun on your journey. Um, those are rock smash my panels or rock rocks. Aha! Whoa! The Theo's certainly in a good mood. He shows me, um, <laughs> wait, they look exactly the same and told me how proud he was that he finally beat you. I trust he didn't take it too hard. My son is very energetic. Oh, well, he has, um, he has his heart set on winning. Although, I have to ask, did you let him win on purpose? No, I didn't, actually. I thought you were, um, your starter had a type advantage. Perhaps Theo is naturally talented trainer, then. Or perhaps he got lucky. He did. Uh, time will tell how he fares. Yeah, they look exactly the same. That's kind of funny. Oh, Game Dog is here. Are you looking for a rematch? Because I ain't gonna give you one. I have one fair and square. Theo, don't be rude. You and Game Dog will uh, see a lot of each other on the journey to come, so uh, you you'll need to get along. I nearly forgot. Uh, Theo, I have something for both of you. Like a present? 
Yeah, exactly. Game Dog, your father, Kel um, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it will come in useful. A Pokepod. It's a high-tech device that um, indispensable for Pokemon. Oh, it's a Poke Gear. Okay, it plays music and includes a map for the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that allows you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool, I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm going to go meet po the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up. I wonder if you can miss that if you go to the edge of town immediately. We'll talk about a dramatic turnaround. He's um he's always um he always bounces back quirky, or quickly. <laughs> Game die. You don't want to keep the uh, the professor waiting, so you should get moving too. I won't see um you or Theo again for some time. You see um you see I'm starting a, a new job soon. I'm supervising the uh, construction of the new power plant at Espl Espelon. Epsilon. <laughs> Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last uh, place that Lucille wants to ever see. Best of luck on your journey. <clears throat> Alright. I uh, can't go in there. The power of the internet. Koo bug. Is that what this is? I think it says something completely different. What's this? Kind of fresh beginnings. Furby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, okay, so this takes place in the late 90s. Um, oh, that's the edge of town. I don't want to go there quite yet. I thought it, I don't know why, but I assumed it would have been north for some reason. Now, let's talk to you. Hello, honey. Take a break from all that uh, tiring adventuring. I, I don't need that. It's quite um, it's quite about you around, you know. I've been uh, playing your Wii. Um, I've been playing your Wii tennis. It feels good to get moving. I thought she would have given us something. Ah, yeah, whatever. All right, so I think next time we will uh, move on and we will start to catch Pokemon and see some more new Pokemon in the region. So I think I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.